Oh man, yeah, her belt is just mean. But all right, this is the this is their Bismarck run, man. <laughs> we have to get lucky here. <laughs> so tally ho, boys. Hey folks, Pat here. Welcome back. Episode number two: War in the Pacific, uh, War on the Sea. U.S. campaign, day five. Um, Ten dollar reduced, third of March, nineteen forty-two. We have got a couple things going on. Got subs getting in position up here, down here. Um, I'm thinking about these subs. They might not be as useful as I thought, but we're going to give them a chance. I don't think this guy's actually going to do that much up here. So let's get them down into the action down here because we want to kind of watch for things coming out of the truck. Meanwhile, we have carrier task group down here. Uh, with a whole bunch of wildcats up on cap at the moment. I think we had 48 of them up. Um, might be a good idea to land some of these dudes. Let's see, yeah, let's go ahead and land one batch. And then we'll leave the other batch up its cap. Just for the moment. Um, so, but we have, uh, Sister Sarah, no, we got Lady Lex in, um, Yorktown here. And we did spot something up in here. I think they were a little bit further up here, but who knows, they might come back. Let's just stick around in the area for a bit. Do something like this. <laughs> See if that guy shows up again. Meanwhile, we are vigilant down here, uh, watching for... I don't want to get too far away from down here, because something down here is bound to show up. And we want to be within striking range. We're not in striking range at the moment, but I'm not going to leave... Um, what is this patch of ocean here called? Uh, it's not the Bismarck Sea, that's over here. I don't know. <laughs> so, the Solomon Sea. <laughs> so actually, that might be what it is. I'm not sure. So, um, we, we don't want to, we don't want to get too far out of here because that carrier is up in there. And so, let's just run around here for a little bit, see what we can find. Um, what is this? Oh, yep. Do the chasey chasey thing a little bit more. Any ships? Any ships? Any ships? No ships. Planes. We got a lone zero out here. Some tells me you're not by yourself, so... And I don't want to lose any Kitty Hawks. So, off you go. Um... See, look at that. They got they got planes coming around out here. Check this out. What is it? What is this we got right here? These are land-based planes. Um... All right, let's try it. See what happens here. Those, I bet you these are Emily's, which suck. What do we got? Yeah, oh man, we got all kinds of stuff. Oh, that's my Dauntless out there. What do we got here? We got Emily's. Let's go jump these guys. Uh, one, two, three, four, target. Uh, this guy. Attack. One, one, two, three, four. Target this guy, attack. We want to get these guys on a first pass because they've got guns. And lots of them, so we don't want to lose too many wildcats here. One, two, three, four. There might be more than one batch here, but we're just going to do it this way here first. Man, sticky fingers here. There we go. Ah, ah. Let's see what shows up. Uh, ships. Lex, get your radar up. Is it this button? God, I can never remember. Oh, their radar is on. Oh, look at that. All our radars are on, man. Did you guys in the mod do that? That's so nice. <laughs> so. Uh, the other nice thing that I've noticed is your cap actually starts right over the task group, and so you can just vector to wherever you need to go. These guys are dangerous, though, man. we got to jump them. Um, these almost cost me the Enterprise, almost cost me the Bogue, or was it the Bogue or the Barnes? I can't remember. Here we come! Got one. Yeah, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Got him. <laughs> but, the Japanese know we're here. So, maybe we'll be able to bait out a couple more strikes. 
So splash, splash, splash. It seems as if nobody else is here, so let's cheese it. We're gonna keep that cap up. Unfortunately, landing the other cap means that one of you guys cannot launch planes for a while. Three hours on Lexington, so she's in recovery mode until 11.30. Oof. So, gonna be cool here. So, here's more guys coming here. Check them out. We're just gonna keep those Wildcats up. Here come Kate's. Those are carrier-based planes, and so yeah, we know that carrier's around here somewhere. We're just gonna have to rely on Yorktown's planes. Oh no, these are banana boats. We'd be able to shoot them down. So, um, not with the Donalds. <laughs> so, but let's just stay vigilant. Let's stay a little frosty here. Dauntless. There's a kill. Oh my god, look how freaking close he is. <laughs> We've got to do something about that. <laughs> Let's go check him out. So, did Shelly get all the way back down here? No way. Oh man, he is freaking close. We are definitely going to strike him. Oh man, we don't have... Yorktown can launch. It's going to be a busy day. It's going to be a busy day. What do we got? Way over here. You you are not Shokaku. Ooh, we got a whole nother carrier group. This would be Kaga. Oh yeah, we want to back you for sure, but Oh yeah. Heading northwest, huh? What else we got in here? Let's take a look. Looks like Kaga and four destroyers. <coughs> I bet you we can take you with twenty-four planes. Um, let's get that spooled up now. Continue. And so Yorktown should be available to strike. That's this guy right here. Holy crap, this is going to take like 10 minutes. Get stuff over there. So Yorktown should be able to launch. Yeah. We can even send them escorted. So, um, because if we launch these guys with no ordnance like that... Should be able to launch Dauntlesses now. Shoot, we could almost launch Avengers. Uh, now let's do the Dauntlesses. Done. Of course. <laughs> Not even an hour. Look at that. Not even an hour. Oh, thank God we still have a little bit of cap up. Because <laughs> now neither of our carriers are going to be able to launch cap. That's actually really dangerous. We might need to cheese it out of here. Yeah. <laughs> that way. <laughs> so anyway, where are my Donalduses? 24. From Yorktown. Going that way. Where are my escorts? Escorts. 24 from Yorktown. See, they don't even have that much endurance left. Ooh, we might get caught with our pants down here. Maybe, maybe. 13. One of you pointed out that you actually have to put this down to one. That was a good tip. I did not know that. So when you're actually going to do the escort for the Dauntlesses. That's why they were rubber banding or kiting each other the other day. All right, let's give this a shot. They're still not doing it. They're still not doing it. What's the deal here, man? Get down. Just, just go. Just go. Just get close. That's all we need. I'm getting chased here. Actually, those are their planes probably coming back. That guy's got to be like right here. See how they just disappeared? Let's jump in here. Ah, oh, crap. Come on, boys. Somebody spot something. <gasps> something. Something appeared out of nowhere. Down over here. Come on. Wildcats are going to come down and jump this guy. Actually, maybe our Dauntlesses will bag him. Is he going to shoot at our Dauntlesses? He might. Come on, hit him. No, 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 no. Oh, this is his. Oh, we got him. Never mind. We got him. He didn't get us. 
Where is the carrier, though? I don't see anything. This guy's about to time out, out here. How's our visibility? Visibility is not bad. It's not great. Not bad. He's got to be around here somewhere. We might be just a little bit off here. Everybody and their dog is patrolling around here, though. You guys got quite a bit of range. Let's just loiter. These are the guys that need to find him, though. Not be around here. Unless he's got a cooldown that I don't know about. Oh, lame. Gotta be in here, man. Don't have that much. We got quite a bit of endurance. Maybe he's heading up this way. Split up here a little bit. Not too much. Yorktown ready to launch. Okay. Oh, crap! Oh, no. Got a little tunnel vision going on here. Didn't even see this dude. What do we got? One battleship, two car two heavy cruisers. I bet you they're coming down here to blow the crap out of Milne Bay. There's probably not much we can do. There's probably not much we can do about that. Both fighters do have torpedo. They're all gonna get shot down. So if we do that, we gotta go. Let, let's go check it out. We can we can launch without uh without um incurring a cooldown here. Gotta find a freaking carrier though. Where did you go, brother? Couldn't have gone too far. Gotta be up in here. Oh, the Ann. Kitty Hawk. That's that's him. Okay. Chips. Holy crap. They weren't kidding. Pause. <laughs> Thanks for not making that hard-coded where I can't do that. <laughs> My brain does not work that fast. <laughs> okay. Hmm. What do we got here? Um, what are you? You're an... Uh, is this Aoba? I think so. Issei. You are Issei. So we definitely have a battleship. Takao or Miyoko. Um, and what are you? What the hell is this? Seaplane tender? No, I'd show up as a carrier if it was. What are you? I don't think I've seen you before. Um, it's like a heavy cruiser. Might be one of those modified ones that I don't know about. Burutaka? Uh, nope. Aoba. Uh, nope. Close. Yoko. Takao. Uh uh. Mogami? Nope. Missing a turret. Nope, not you. And back to Furutaka. Okay, so you're not a heavy cruiser, are you? A a seaplane tender? I didn't think they had this kind of armament on them. He should. Hey, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. No. Okay. Oh, that's actually a light carrier? Chitose. No, you don't have the little mini sub. Uh uh. What the hell are you, son? Looks like you got another one right over here. Exact same type. Is this a light cruiser? I don't know. No, it's not a Yubari. A Gano? There you are. <clears throat> wow, I didn't think they had these till 43. Hmm, I hope the brakes aren't kicked off on the Japanese in terms of ship availability. That would suck. Um, but you are Nagano. Alright, so this one is Furutaka, if I'm not mistaken. So we do have two heavy cruisers here. Um, 
Um, no, you're Alba. Yeah, got that weird platform right there. Um, over the Tirpedis. So, this task group here would absolutely splash every single Beaufort that I sent their way. Um, this battleship, though, actually these heavy cruisers will absolutely be able to take out Milne. Um, if that's indeed where they're going. Um, and there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, I can go sacrifice these guys. Um, there's a chance that they're heading towards Moresby, though. Which I'm about to win. This one has a level 3 port in it, which is important, but not crucial. Um, I mean, it would be for rearming my carriers if I was dumb enough to actually put them down here, which I might be. You never know. <laughs> so, Alright, we're just going to have to wait and see what those guys do, man. <laughs> so, I don't have near enough place to actually put a dinger on them to make them go away. So... We're just going to have to risk it that they're actually going after more speed rather than mill. Uh, that gives us a little bit of time and planes down here on horn that we can actually hit them with. Maybe coordinated strike between the two, mill and horn. Uh, but if they're heading for mill, we're screwed. Um, meanwhile, what are you guys doing down here, man? Please tell me this is where the carriers are. Am I just off base here? It's getting stressful, boys. <sighs> getting a little stressful. Nah, ain't nothing here. Come on, that carrier's gotta be around here somewhere. Let's just jump in here and see. Oh, this is the same one. My bad. Get out of here. Come on, Kaga. Show your face. We got 57 nautical miles left on these guys. 300 left on these guys. I mean, I might be way off base here. I should have dropped a marker. Counter and milled. Yeah, these are just planes. More planes. Oh man, got to be cool on the. See now these guys are coming down that way. Let's go jump in here. They might be land-based planes. We got so many search planes out here, though. Yeah, next time I was just gonna use the ruler. I'm gonna draw a line. Um, something. Oh man, we're gonna have to. We, we need a little bit of luck here. We need a little bit of luck here. Wildcats are going back. Here's my 24 Dauntlesses. Here's one way out here. Let's just go up about here. And then hop in. We might find him. Lexington is ready to launch, so we got our we got our aircraft back up. Guy has not shown up here yet. Uh, there he is. He's probably going to Morsby. Okay, we might be able to coordinate a strike down there. Oh, that might be a red herring though too. How much? 164. Might be going completely the wrong direction here. He was down here, heading northeast. Let's zigzag back towards the carrier here a little bit. Oh, come on, man. 150 left. Don't stop. Don't stop, man. Like that guy's going around. Oh crap! All right, tactical. Please. <gasps> <Yes! laughs> oh man! Oh. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> Hello, Kaga. How you doing? We got a little present for you today. 
So, um, in the form of pain. Um, actually, no, this is a Kage, isn't it? No, this is Kage. Ooh, I can't remember which one's actually got the... This is Kaga. Okay. Yeah, Kage's on Star or on port side. The other starboard. Kaga. Gentlemen. Kill the things. Zack. 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 Oh, wait a minute. These guys gotta get to altitude, don't they? 3,100 feet? Stay out of range. Get up to, I think it's 7,000, if I'm mistaken. Seven thousand. I think this is right. Um, if I remember the realistic aircraft mod, I might be totally wrong about this too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this first group over here. For the closest group, and just hit the attack button with these guys. Let's see what happens. They start circling. Then they need to get altitude. <sighs> yep, that's exactly what they're doing, so screw that. Cease attack. Get altitude. Ports new contact. Oh no! It's just you, brother. <laughs> Be alright. Come on, climb, 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 climb. Those guys are getting shot at. Way over there. This guy is playing it cool. At the altitude, there's the shells, not planes. Ah, oh, this number of Dauntlesses will chew this guy to pieces. He might get one or two of us, though. It's okay. It's a sec fuss I'm willing to make with your lives, boys. Alright, here we go. This is going to be a pretty good angle. Alright. Target, Kaga. Attack. Attack. He's only got about 500 feet left. Oh, man. Gonna go take my blood pressure medicine. <laughs> or stop drinking. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this lead group does here. Are they gonna beeline for him or are they gonna spin? They're gonna beeline for him. Nice. I think we did it, boys. I think we did it. Check these guys out. Shoot that guy down. He's right there. He's too low. He's going to have to make another pass. Nice spread out attack here. All coming from the same direction. Nice tight work, boys. Of course, that zero is probably going to go after this very lead guy right here. He's down there. Oh, I guess we shot him down. That wasn't one of ours. Good job. Somebody bagged him. If that's all the cap we see today, Kaga's going to about to have a very bad afternoon here <clears throat> on 3rd March 1942. Here we go with the deep dive. 
Watch this. It's a steep angle, man. <laughs> it looks like they're going to pass over, but uh-uh. <laughs> we're going to come in. Dive brakes are going to be smoking. So... <laughs> Ah, wingman down. Stay on target, leader. Got your target right there. Get that meatball. Here we go. Bombs away. Ooh. Yeah. Pain. Bring down the pain. Donezo. Absolutely donezo. More where that came from. Lost two. Oh man. <laughs> hey, down by the stern a little bit there, sister. <laughs> just just a tad. <laughs> Oh, first time I see this character in this game, and we make a count. So, she ain't sunk yet, though, but she's effectively wrecked as a, uh, as a platform here. <laughs> Actually, she might be done. So, let's check and see. Yeah, she's sunk. I didn't hear the whistle, or the hern, but she's done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for a third of our flight group. Yeah, I'll take it. So... Now we got three little destroyers running around with nothing to do. Except go back home. Watch this proud girl get claimed by the uh, South Pacific here. Give her her moments due. Sinking hard by the stern. So, it's what? About 2,500 Japanese troops that need to, or sailors that need to go find a new home here real quick? That's the thing with Kaga and Akagi in particular, they had such monstrous hangar spaces in them. Um, well, you guys know the story, Midway and whatnot. But, that's all it takes. That's all it takes. Woo! Woo, there you go. Done. So, carrier number one added to the IJN Maritime Naval Preserve. So... And that was not a small kill. 3,800 tons, full six points for that. Thank you, gentlemen. RTB, go grab some sandwiches. Let's call it good. Um, so, Shoei was still up here. Um, do we make a rescue attempt on Moresby here? That's the question. I, yeah, I don't know about that. I'm very reluctant to actually put carriers down here. We might just have to take our licks um, for the moment. What we really need to watch out for is transports. And bow fighters and bow fighters, sorry. And bow forts will do better against transports than they will against armored ships. Now, if I had like two groups of them. I mean, if we ran in there and took out that battleship, they're going to make it to Moresby before we could ever get within carrier range. So, okay, never mind. This one's going to be on the Aussies here. Um, we'll see if we can coordinate a... So, like, two groups of Bufighters fighters coming in with three torpedoes apiece. How much... We don't have that much daylight left. Um, all right, one thing at a time. Let's uh, skedaddle with our carriers out of here. For a little bit. I think both these guys can launch now. Yeah, so we're we're good on cap coverage for the moment. Never mind. Yorktown can't launch for two and a half hours, so she's done for the day. Lex is gonna have to be our duty carrier. We're done with strikes and airstrikes for the day. Let's retire and re-engage Manana. Um let's see if we can coordinate a strike here. So, how far from here? 272 nautical miles. 321 nautical miles. 
how far can we go with torpedoes? 491. Um, they're not going to have air cover. Oh, these are the only strike planes that we have out of here. These guys can't even reach Moresby. 261? <laughs> Barely. <laughs> so, but they're fighters. They can't carry nothing anyway. So, not, not my problem. Um, uh, 25 knots. Um, let's give it an hour. Let's give it an hour. Go carefully watch my stuff over here. Milne, ready to launch. Oh, this guy. <laughs> what else? <laughs> Off we go. Uh, are you guys moving? Yeah. We're, we need to be a little bit more careful about carrier ops and not so blase about it. <laughs> and actually plan out the tag team in order to keep our carrier group safe. So... Uh, what's my weather look like? Yeah, let's stick around down here in the slop for a bit. <laughs> I bet you Showy will make an appearance. So, not soon though. So, it's been an hour. How far does this guy have to go? Here? Oh, I can't do multiple rulers. I'm just going to call this 165 and 74. Nautical miles. Um, they won't be there till morning. Wouldn't think of it. Hmm. That sucks. Yeah. So it's hundred sixty-five plus seventy-four nautical miles. Sorry, you're watching me do math on cup number two of coffee here. There's 220 nautical miles, so at 22 knots, roughly 10 hours. You're going to get there right when they should, which is going to be just before dawn. So, two more hours puts us at 1,700. These guys can land in the dark. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's wait a little bit. We'll try and catch him right about here. Which means we probably need to launch these guys now. Let's do that. Done. 491 nautical miles. Two and a half hours puts us right about there. Um, and we'll try and get these guys here about the same time. So they'll still have plenty of gas to loiter. Oh man, that's a... Talk about a day of shots in the dark here today. going to be a little further than I thought, but it's okay. All right. 314 nautical miles, seventh of an hour. Get these guys up. Oh man, it's going to require some primo radio work on the part of the Australians here. Oh, bad. Just want to try and keep eyes on both of these things here, which is hard when the freaking buttons are in the way. But it's just the nature of the beast moment. Counter Port Moresby. You guys trying to come down here and intercept us, that would be rude. Alright. Shoot right about there. You guys fly towards them. And then with. Should be about right. Let's try it. Let's see if they're here. They are! <laughs> oh man, just like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go after the battle wagon. We gotta punch enough holes in her so she decides to go home. That's about the only hope that we have here. So this is Issei. We're gonna group all these guys up in box. Um, we got time here. Uh, gentlemen. 
Oh, god dang. Tight ahead, box formation, max speed, form up. Well, oh, we don't need to do max speed just quite yet. Go this way. <coughs> Everybody form up and box. Now we can go ID targets. Well, there's only one that matters. If we can damage her enough, they'll go they'll go home. Um maybe. <laughs> no, not that. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, but that was fun. He say. This was one of the heaviest Japanese battleships early in the war, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, of course, but... We don't care about them. Let's check her... Um. Oh man, yeah, her belt is just mean. But all right, this is the this is their Bismarck run, man. <laughs> we have to get lucky here. <laughs> so tally oh boys, max speed. Let's uh, come in this way. What are you doing? I need to be too precise here. Come on. What's going on? Oh, sorry. Bad fingering things. Oh. Red at night, sailor's delight. Maybe not so much tonight. That'll be a good spread. That'll be good. This is a Hail Mary. Absolute Hail Mary. Otherwise, we're going to lose a chunk of Moresby. Now, they won't be able to reduce it down to nothing, but if they hit the air base, um, that's a problem. So, I think... It's going to be more of a problem if they actually hit Milne, now that I think about it. Here we go, here we go. Come on, boys. Go for it. <clears throat> Do your thing. We got, a nice, we got a nice angle here. She's probably going to turn away. Fortunately, these things are slow. Uh, but we should drop after this cruiser clears right here. Uh, in fact, we might drop right over her. Let's just see. We can see. Oof, man, look at the flak. Don't drop now. Don't drop now. Don't do it now. Don't do it now. <laughs> Alright, good. Two, three down. We only got three torps left. Oh, man, they just wrecked us to pieces. Absolute to pieces. We got three torps in the water, though. Oh, man. What are you talking? She can't turn that fast. Come on, torpedoes. Come on, torpedoes. Come on, Torpedus. Come on, come Oh, man, no. I don't think it's going to work. Oh, is she going to she gonna straighten her rudder out? What kind of craziness is this? Yeah, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. No, they're too slow. Too slow. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. Come on, British Torpedoes. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Yeah, hit her in the rudder. Hit her in the magazine. Or miss completely. <laughs> we got one. That's that's not gonna make her go home though, man. And we lost all our Beauforts. Bo Bo Beauforts. There we go. Did that do anything? Did it just make you mad? I think it just made her mad. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they're gonna go take out a, a little bit of revenge on Port Morsby. Here, uh, yeah, that was kind of a red herring. Um, now we might not have a choice. We might actually have to put the carrier group down here. So, that's crap. Um, 
All right, off we go. Yep. Oh, my God. Where's my Where's my screen? Oh, never mind. Everybody's dead. <laughs> yeah, listen to Q sad music. So very minor damage, minor flooding. They're not gonna go away. Um. So, which means we're going to have to go down here and we're going to have to shoot down a truckload of Bettys and we're going to have to ignore Shokaku. So, which means um, we'll have to come back this way eventually. But guys, uh, let's do this while it's getting dark here. So, you'll be passing here about 6 o'clock in the morning. Let's do it. Everybody, off you go. Is this my cap here? I think it probably is. Um... Yeah, TP. We can still throw up cap with, uh... Yeah, you guys gotta cheese it all the way down here. So, Guadalcanal is a one. Shortland's a three. Um... Yep, yeah, here they come. <laughs> dun 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 Boom! Are you gonna do it again? Are you gonna go away? They're gonna go away. Oh my god, they wrecked it. It's absolutely wrecked. No more murder hornets. Off they go. Are they gonna go over here and blow this one up too? That would be ass if they decide. Wow, well, for some reason I have air operations out of here because it's on rinse and repeat. Hey, bug report. <laughs> so, mm. <laughs> All right. Do the right thing, Pat. TV. Now I can't do it. <laughs> um. <clears throat> hmm. Well, shit. <laughs> Yeah, okay. That's enough dead air. <laughs> um, Alright, so slightly shorter episode today because, quite honestly, I have to really sit down and seriously think about what to do. So, these guys aren't in range of Rabal at the time, so we could get them back up here. Um, Let's check out our, our rules. So we got 37 bucks coming our way. It's day 6, 16... Um, we'll be getting some points here in a day or two. Um, yeah, so do we go back, build a convoy, or do we stay and go fight the things? We do have a carrier under our belts today, so that's good. Showy's around here somewhere. But anything new coming out, it's going to have to come from truck. We've got subs in the area. Um, we got more coming. In fact, I think you need to get down here too, man. So, although you did spot Showy. Yeah, so suggestions <coughs> here are needed. And so, yeah, slightly shorter episode today. Um, just because I'm not quite sure what to do. I'm going to have to go think about it a little bit. And I need your help with that. Questions, comments, concerns. You know where those go. Suggestions. I'm I'm kind of inclined to stick around in the area, but uh, we are going to have to send the carriers back to escort down any kind of convoy that comes this way too, and so uh, we might just be kind of stuck with things here for another week while we um, fight them off. Maybe soak up things out of a ball. Both of our air groups are still in really good shape down here, um, but unfortunately, Milne now has no 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 bow forts. We do have bow fighters. And Kitty Hawks, so we'd be able to do something about, like... We'd be able to do something about a convoy that came down here. Uh, these guys are basically useless now. They're just there for recon. Um, so if they go blow that one up, that's fine. Um, we won't see anything coming from this direction, which would suck, but... Also, that would be 
Um, I don't know. Good on the AI. Actually, sending that bombard group down here was actually really smart. Uh, or a lucky die roll. I don't know exactly how it works. <laughs> so, but that definitely put a dinger on us. And so, yeah, we're going to pull the pin here. 45-minute episode today. And so, yeah, I, I need to hear your, your comments down there. But we did bag ourselves Kaga. And so today was not completely lost. It was a tactical victory, but it looks like it might have been a strategic setback. And so um, that's okay. I look forward to what they're going to throw at me next. We're at, we're at a decision point here, and so let me know what your decisions are. All right. That's all I got for you today. Uh, we'll see you again here real soon. Take care now. Bye.